Hi guys, it's Nick Varios and welcome back to Fashion School with Nick Varios. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to drape this couture twist knot top. C'est magnifique. Okay, so I'm gonna help you a little bit by prepping your muslin. These are the measurements that you're gonna need. So you're gonna need two pieces of muslin. Make sure that they are 34 long by 30 wide, all right? And then you're gonna measure right on the length, you're gonna measure 23 inches down and mark it. Mark it with a Sharpie, with a pencil, just mark it right there at the edge, okay? And then you're gonna draw a bias right from there across on the bias diagonally on your muslin because that's actually gonna be your center front line because you're gonna drape this couture top on the bias, okay? So then mark that bias. On that bias grain, go up four to five inches, mark, all right? And from that mark, go up eight inches and mark. And right there at that eight inch mark, you're gonna draw a perpendicular line that is 10 inches. And now you're ready to drape. Okay, so I've prepped my muslin, made all the marks, and I'm ready to drape the couture knotted top. All right, so here are some details. I wanna show you the center front, the waist. Take your muslin, now remember you made that bias mark right there, and then I asked you to mark right there about four to five inches above, right there. That is gonna be going, you're gonna pin that to the waist center front, right there. Do you see that right there? Hey! Okay, so that's gonna be your first pin. So lay your muslin, lift it all up, put it here, have a pin ready, let me take a pin, and then you wanna pin that four to five inch mark right there at the waist and center front. So I'm gonna do that, and because it is the first pin, I like to do the sliding one, okay? So I slid it right there, okay? Now, what you wanna do is pin that bias in the center front of your form right there, and pin up right up until the eight inch mark. So just pin first, put that pin right there in the eight inch mark, I'm gonna Move this over here so you guys can see right there. So then I place the pin right there and then just pin down the center front in about one inch intervals. And make sure to do it at an angle, okay? So just do it like that. Do not stab it in about one inch. And the whole point is to make sure that your center front is hunkered down, <laughs> okay? So here we go, and one more. There we go, all right, next you begin the draping, all right? So then I told you to make a mark that was perpendicular to that bias line right there, going up eight inches and then mark it about 10 inches. Why? So that's why you drape it. Normally, I wouldn't ask you to do that and I would say, now I want y'all to just take your muslin and drape horizontally like this. Make sure that you kind of see the grain line and you want it to just be kind of horizontal or parallel to the floor. Well, this way, there you go. All right, it's like helping you. So take that line and make sure that line is parallel to the floor, okay, you're even. So take that line and drape it, smooth it. Do not pull, you wanna smooth it. Sometimes if you want, you wanna add a little bit of a knee so you can pinch it if you want, or just do that, just smooth it, smooth it. Take your fingers and then pin. Pin at the side seam, right here. Here's your side seam, okay, you can feel it, see, kind of feel it right there. And then I do a little sliding, okay, just to hunker it down. But see, there's the side seam, there's my side seam high right there so I'm pinning okay now do this with your hands let this fall naturally right there at the side seam to the waist and pin that down okay so I'm gonna pin right there okay and then if you want keep pinning down the side right there okay just keep pinning and don't worry about this you know what that's gonna turn into a dart possibly a pleat yes okay so here we go, keep doing that. All right, so we're good, all right. Now see, it's all even. If you want, sometimes you can also pin right here at the bus just to hold it down, right there. Okay, now we got this. Oh, what do we do? Oh, we do a pleat. That's what I'm gonna do, okay? So normally, we don't pleat this way. Do you see that? We don't fold towards the center front. We fold away from it, all right? So the inner part is like this, and you do it right there on the princess, okay? And you can feel the princess on your form as well. So it's basically right there where the bus point is. Fold it, okay? Right there, just fold it, and don't worry about everything else, and then place a pin. But now, you got some nasty, okay? Look at that. Ooh, that's not cute. So what do we do? We clip and 
Ah, oh, all right, so here we go. So exciting. So first, let's look at the nasty. Nasty, and then clip, clip, clip. Now watch, watch, watch. And then, oh, not nasty, okay? And then you can cut this excess right here because you won't need it right there. And then what I like to do, cut here, and then cut excess here on the side as well, all right? Hold it, hold it, cut straight up, and that's it, all right? Because you won't need that. Now, there you go. See, it's a little smoother, nicer. You can actually want to clip a little more if you want. Here, just a little teeny tiny more. One more here, maybe one more there. There, all right. So you see a little bit of extra. So what you can do is now take that, smooth it, drape it, so it goes towards the pleat, and so then you get a nice, better pleat. Do you see that? Very nice. Okay, next up, focus on the armhole and the shoulder. What you wanna do, you wanna smooth. So lift up with your muslin, lift up here, and you wanna smooth this. Don't worry about all this. You wanna make sure that this is gonna be smooth. Do you see that? Look, look, okay? Let me take that away. You wanna smooth, see? <gasps> All right, work it. It'll take you about a minute or two or five, <laughs> but you wanna smooth it, okay? What you wanna do is kind of get a little fold kind of like that. That smooths it. Smooth it with your fingers towards the neck right there and then pin, all right? Take a pin, pin right at the shoulder. There you go. And then now go in here, go into the neck right there and then pin right there at the neck and shoulder point right here okay so I'm gonna pin that's right here all right so we've got it down okay we've got that down now to help you guys out cut some of this excess and then we're gonna clip all right so watch you won't need this so I cut around okay don't cut too much then right here at the shoulder I lift this up and then I just go like that okay all right next the neckline look at this all right there's tension do you see why it's there Look what happens. I release it, okay? Now continue cutting, clip. I'm gonna show you where you're gonna cut. You're gonna clip from the shoulder at a slight angle towards the center front of your form, all right? So hold this up, hold this up, and what you can do is pin this here to help you. Pin it right at the center front neck, right there, and you're gonna cut, you're gonna clip right there. That's part of the draping, all right? So watch, take your scissors and then hold it, hold it, and then clip right to there. See, just like that. Now, if you need to clip a little more here, clip, clip, so it's not too close to the neck. There you go, that's much better. And then just stop right there. There you go. Now, what are we gonna do about this? Well, we'll get to it. First, let's trim a little bit of this. The center front, I cut right to about an inch, okay? Just to about an inch, up to the eight inch mark, leave it alone. Now we're gonna do the bow, okay? So what do we do? Take your muslin and hold it. Just hold it, just like this. Do you see that? And see this grain, see how it's straight right there? What you wanna do now, from that point, the center front neck, cut straight out. Just straight out, okay? So I'm gonna take my scissors, Right here, hold it, okay, and I'm just gonna cut like that. See, all right, so cut straight out. You can do a little bit of an angle if you want, but I like doing that. Next, you're gonna do the same thing for the bottom. So see right there, the eight inch point bust level, okay, and then you're gonna cut straight out, or a slight angle, right to the edge. So clip, okay, and then now, Cut, cut, and cut. There you go, all right? Now, that's basically it. Well, almost. We're going to mark, all right? Get your Sharpie or your pencil and start marking the waist. What you wanna do is do broken lines, like I've always told you, right at the bottom of the tape. That's the waist, not the top, but the bottom, okay? Broken lines, okay? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Go to the side seam, mark right there. Don't forget to mark your pleat. Mark the first part of it and then where it kisses. So you know, look, because when you open it up, you need to know where this kisses this, okay? Right there, there you go. Side seam, all right? You can feel it, so then mark it. 
okay? Mark to the bottom of the arm plate. This is your arm plate, by the way, okay? See it? There's the bottom. You wanna mark one inch below it. That is where your armpit is, especially when you put on a sleeve and also sleeveless, it's good, okay? So you wanna mark there and then your next mark will be about an eighth of an inch away from the arm plate at mid armhole, right there, okay? So then just put this back, put your drape back and then I'm gonna mark, here's the bottom of my arm plate, go one inch below, all right? And then here's my arm plate, go about an eighth of an inch. Why? Because you're gonna connect and you're gonna connect by doing kind of like a C. See, just like that, okay? And then now continue, continue this line up until the shoulder. Where's my shoulder? There's my shoulder. Mark your shoulder line, mark your neckline right here at the shoulder, and then mark at an angle, but a straight line, come, come around, and then come right there and stop, okay? So I finished marking now. You're almost done. We're gonna trim some of this excess, all right? So you can trim up to about an inch or a little more. So just cut this, cut this, right here at the waist. Do you see that? Okay, so that's a little better. Cut at the side, like that. Cut in the armhole. Okay, and then the shoulder, right there. I would leave everything else the same, okay? Let me see, cut that. There you go, okay? Leave this the same, all right? Now, what do I do? You're gonna take this off the form and you're gonna put it on top of that other prepared muslin and then you're gonna trace it. You're gonna trace this drape again and that drape will be the other side, all right? So let's do that. Okay, so I have my second piece of muslin already marked with the bias grain, the four to five inches mark, eight inches up, the perpendicular line, and I'm gonna take my drape that I just draped and I'm laying it on top of it. You see that? It's already prepped. Laying it on top, there it is. Hi, very nice. And then I'm going to cut it. I'm gonna trace it. Now you can pin it if you want just to hold it down, but because it is muslin, it's easy, it won't slip away. If this was silk chiffon, forget it. <laughs> All right, so I'm cutting it, basically tracing it. Do you see that? I'm cutting it, just following the marks, following the marks, right there. Okay, just like that. You see that? Okay, I'm gonna cut right here. That's the neckline, and this is gonna be the bow cut right there and then the center front stop right there and then the other part of the bow cut right there okay now as a final step if you want you can take this that's the drape put that underneath put your new cut piece over it just like that, okay? So it matches, very nice, okay, there we go. And then just mark, just mark those broken lines, like that. Just mark the broken lines, that's the armhole, that's the shoulder, that's the neckline, stop right there, here's the side seam, and then mark right here, that's going to be the pleat, and right there. And that'll help you, because now you've got the right side and the left. Now we're ready to tie the knot. Okay, so I've pinned back my drape that I did and I actually trimmed it to just half an inch so it looks all neat and pretty. So now we're gonna take that and we're gonna take the copy that I traced and we're gonna pin this to this side of the form which is the uh, left side, okay? And so here we go. I'm gonna pin right here at the shoulder. See, I don't need to redrape it again because it's the same, okay? That's why I said have another piece of muslin and trace it, okay? I'm gonna go right here to the armhole, right there. Then I'm gonna go to the side seam and pin right there, pin right there, okay? And it's got all the markings, see? Look, all the markings, see? I'm gonna go to the center front. Now to make it neat, I'm gonna turn this under. Now for the center front of this blouse, if you wanted to make it, you could put buttons, you could overlap it, you could put a zipper, okay? So basically that's the closure or the opening of your top, okay? And then here, look, the dart or pleat. So I'm gonna fold it nicely, just like the other side. Ooh, Ooh, nice, okay? And then I'm just gonna pin down the center front, 
pin down the center front right here do you see what I'm doing okay pin it down all right pin it down right up to right here that's the mark the eight inches okay guys here comes the couture part this is the knotted couture okay now here's another Nick trick what you want to do is you want to take the left side lay it over so like flip it over like that okay that goes under all right so then take the right side with the knot okay fold this in half just fold it in half okay so it's easier to do and you're gonna take that fold it in half come over do you see like I'm doing right now now here comes the magic shut the front couture knotted tie door <laughs> and then now fix your knot right there fix the knot right here we've got our drape we've got our knot do you see that right there look look okay I'm gonna do it again okay just because you guys are like wait how do you do that okay again take your left side lay it like that take the right side go over fold it this helps because see how wide it is sometimes it's kind of messy stucking all that in there fold it in half okay all right and then come around make sure you keep this all like this come under and then out and keep this this is the draped part okay and then knot see that creates this beautiful drape this is just gorgeous and why because it's also on the bias and then now you create the knot you have a little bit of a keyhole do you see that a little bit of a keyhole it's a secret keyhole that gets covered and your opening of the blouse hello how you get into it and then the knot now okay there we go gorgeous now you want to double this all right this has to be cut too this has to be cut too so it's all clean all right that's doubled and another trick is in here to make it stiff and stand out I would add tool inside a little bit of tool just at the edge right there or you can put some fusing interfacing just to make it a little bit stiffer but I would just put tool right under there right in here hidden but double it double it so it's all clean and beautiful otherwise it would be raw but um yeah there it is your couture knotted top. Thanks for watching Fashion School with Nick Varios. Now don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And get my newest book. It's called The Pageant Coloring Book. Yay! It's available on Amazon.com.